there everyone, my name is Nixus and welcome back to Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Uh, last time, we met this lady's, I assume, uh, husband, and now we're helping her out here in these ruins, and we're just going to keep making our way forward. And running into torches. Uh, okay, maybe we're not going to find our way forward. Let's go back. Uh, there was a lever back here that went in a couple different directions, so I guess one of them will open the door, and the other... Get get back! Get back, dick. Tracy's trying to get through. So hopefully that'll open the door. I should have known that there would be a reason to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ugh. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. So you can't jump hardly at all. So I need to let her off first. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Go open the door for me, lady. Uh, please, please, please open the door. It's mutually beneficial. So I mean, it just works out best for both of us if you do that. All right. Great, now the two of us can hippity hoppity across. Yay! Oh, come on over here. Get on the right side, Tracy. Come on. Oh, she already opened it. Oh, she's hurt. I feel bad. Or maybe she's got gray hair. Maybe it's the mom or something. I don't know. We'll see. Well, don't strain yourself. Aww. Aww, he knew. Aww, that's so cute. Alright, now, uh... Oh! Oh no! Bad things are gonna happen! Bad things! <laughs> you! Do do that thing! Point! Okay, what do I do here? Uh... Oh, okay, so it's held in place by the chains. Okay. Rawr! Yeah, yeah, ogres are like onions, I get it. Stupid. Oh, yeah! That's right, keep being stupid. I feel like this this game is a little bit uh, racist against ogres, actually. Not all ogres are stupid. What about Albert Ogerstein? Hmm? That guy invented the laws of ogretivity. <laughs> sorry. Very, very sorry. All right, get ready. Get ready. Oh, yeah. That guy, on the other hand, is not terribly smart. <laughs> oh, you better hurry down. Hurry, brother. Hurry. Uh, uh, yeah. Teamwork. I feel bad. We took his prisoner, and then he tried to kill us, and then we just, we just made everything horrible for him. I mean, I don't feel that bad. He was just having a bad day at work. Not that he chose his career very wisely, but, you know. Oh, they're holding hands! Oh, that's so cute! The feelings... The feelings... Hmm... That way! See you later, Mushy. And, uh... Eleanor. <laughs> That's that's the one of the last names I would expect an ogre to have or troll or whatever they are. It might be a troll. I feel like those two are kind of interchangeable though. Oh, we're back with Dad, Deckard Kane. No, lay down. Die. <laughs> Don't say die. What a horrible doctor. Oh. Lay down, lay down. Get some rest. 
Even if you left right now, you would probably never catch your children. Also, you don't have a map. Or any idea of where to go. Or what to do. And you also don't have a smaller version of yourself to help you get through puzzles. He wouldn't even get past the guy with the stick. I mean, if we're being honest. I mean, Dad's great and all. I'm trying to save him, after all, but not as resourceful as his, as his two sons. That is a solid campsite. Very well done, Dick. I mean, just building a little stick hut like that, that would take some time. Oh, wolves. Hey, hey, get up. Get up. Grab a stick. We're gonna scare some dogs off. Stupid dogs. Can you pick one up? Oh, you wimp. What a friggin' brat. Oh, they need to stay close. Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought he was gonna... I thought it was gonna scare him off. Okay, so maybe I need to do that. Okay. So I need to... <laughs> that makes a lot more sense, actually. Back off! No! Fire bad. Fire bad! It'll catch your fur on fire. Stupid kid couldn't pick up a stupid torch. That's right, back off. I don't want to hurt you, puppy. But I will. I have a feeling the people who made this game don't like dogs very much. Okay. Nothing wrong with a bunch of creepy woods. Perfectly normal. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, where... Oh, jeez. I mean, if I was in this freaking forest, I would probably not want to live too much longer, but that's just... Ugh. That's creepy. Where the hell am I? Back off. Back off, loser. No. Ooh, there's light up ahead. Is there another fire? Or lanterns or something? Maybe it's a village. Let's go see. No, no, it's a graveyard. <laughs> yeah, great. Graveyards, those are fun. Those, those are always the best places to go in video games, right? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Ugh. This is gonna be an adventure. That's for sure. Well, I know what a good idea is when I see it. And so the ghosts rose from the dead because uh, some loser kid decided to ring the bell and awaken them from their slumber. Oh, it's Dompe. Sup, Dompe. Need me to get some pose for ya? Really? In the middle of the night you're looking for a stupid tree? What bloody hell's wrong with you? Well, fine. It's, it's, it's that way or something. Uh, what's your stupid kid brother got to say about this? Oh, he didn't want to talk to the little brother. It doesn't make... I mean, it's just totally understandable. I mean... Kid doesn't know anything. <laughs> a kid. No one should ever listen to kids for any reason. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah, cool. You know, considering how mean some of these people can be. Oh, doggy. Come back to that thought. Run! Run! No, go back through the gate! Just go back through the gate and close the door, you idiot. Oh, oh, jeez. Get on your brother. Okay, good. Uh, oh, get, get it, get it. Can I grab onto that? No, I can't. But I will stay close to it either way. Oh, man. Oh, this feels weird. The water's pushing me in a bunch of different directions. Okay, if there's one thing I've learned from swimming, swim, not parallel, but perpendicular, to the tide. That way it won't suck you underneath. There we go. 
Yeah, if you swim against, uh, if you swim against the flow, it's a lot easier for it to suck you down underneath the water. So if you're swimming perpendicular to it, or sideways, then I believe it sort of helps your body, I guess, be a little bit more buoyant, or makes it a little bit harder for it to be sucked down, for the water to rush over it. I think that's right. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry to all the people whose lives I've put in danger. Wow, this is eerie. I'm not gonna lie. First we got people hanging from trees, and that's, you know, one thing, but just the mist. Um, we can do something with the fire? No? Oh, okay, the branch. Duh. The thing that the camera turned to look at. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound like it's going to break. No, it didn't break. What do you know? That broke. Jeez. Oh, come on, kid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wrong side. Uh, I mean, he's not a bad swimmer, all things considered. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, oh. Hold on. Get up there. Whew. That kid is resilient, considering he can't swim. All right, Dick. Now is your time to shine. It always blows my mind whenever characters in games or movies, like, they hit the rock in, like, their abdomen. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Those are not good things. Um. Oh, I have a bad idea. Bad feeling. Oh. I knew that would happen. Damn it. Okay. So grab on. But yeah, whenever they, like, jump across a ledge and they either land, like, and they grab onto a building, or, uh, like a rock, like you just saw with him, I don't know how they actually hold on. Because they just basically crush their ribs hitting the corner of that rock. Or a building. Uh, 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 I don't like him. I don't like him. Wait, can I? No, he's right there, too. Crap. Wow, that brother is strong. Look at that. He's not even hardly using his back. He's just friggin' hefting that with his sheer upper body strength. What a bamf. Don't, don't swipe at me, please. Don't swipe at me. I, I, I'm very unswipable. I'm like a Discover card been through the washing machine. You don't want to swipe me. Actually, I actually have no idea what happens with a Discover card. Putting it through the washing machine. I don't know. Oh, no. Ah! What a dick. Or no, he's, he's dick. <laughs> oh, you're swimming just fine in the rapids, but now that everything is totally, perfectly actually calm, you can't handle that? Good grief. What a wimp. Get him. Go up. Yeah. It's actually really hard to swim while carrying somebody's body weight. You want to you want to go up? You want to go up? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot lighter than carrying somebody outside of the water, obviously, but it's still quite... A, it's like holding an anchor sometimes. Oh. Good grief. First he gets smacked into a rock, then he falls down after being swiped at by living stump monsters. And he's fine. He's just gonna walk around, brush it off, no big deal. Little kid's more badass than his older brother. Um. The fuck? Yeah, that. Yeah, total. Of course. Of course, you step onto that giant hand. 
what is even... Ooh, okay. Is that their mother? What is happening? And there's the father underneath her hand. What's wrong with the brother? What's going on? Oh, this is creepy as shit. Oh, I don't like it. Is she about to jump out and scare me? I don't like that. Hey, Mom. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Get up, Dad. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Just shake him. Just shake him a little bit. Oh, and Brother's fine. What is... Um... What are, what are, what are you doing? Stop being a dick, dick! What's going on? What? What is it? Oh. Jeez. That was crazy. Oh. That was some freaky shit. <laughs> Aw. The hugs, though. Also, it's daytime. Was the older brother, like, shaking him and trying to wake him up for that entire time? It's very diligent. Oh, man. That was... That was trippy. Yeah, I, I mentioned it in the Dark Souls playthrough, but I am a wimp when it comes to, uh, to I guess, horror-type elements in games. I will eventually play some, but... Uh, Oh man, it's not gonna be good news for me. Don't know. Uh. Help him out. Don't push him. You don't want to push him. You want to like lift him up so it, the pressure on his neck goes away. What is what is going on, dude? What's wrong? Walila. <laughs> Oh, what's going? Why was he sad, dude? Depression is not a thing to mess with, man. It's, it's a real issue. Like I've talked to people before that think it's not like it's just oh get over it oh it's you know you're just sad for a little bit. It's not at all what it's like. Poor guy. I, I wonder if, I wonder if there's some way I can talk to him or help him or something. And we've got a blanket here with what looks like a full-grown burned person and a child. Oh, man. What about the kid? Can you do anything? I don't know if there's anything else I can do for him. Wow, this game... Oh, man. I mean, like, it, it's not like it was ever particularly a cheerful game, but man, it has definitely taken a darker turn. I mean, I knew it was going to be emotional, but I wasn't expecting it to be quite that dark, I suppose. Okay, move that along. Uh, can I run across? No, not yet. Okay, let's see if you can't grab on. Yep, just going up along this windmill here. And jump! Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> These kids are actually insane. Got some serious guts. I don't know if you could pay me to do that. Alright, just move that out here. Now how? 
Oh, I know what to do. I got it. No! Oh, dang it! <laughs> uh, okay. Now bring that out. Let that one go, and there we are. Okay. I <laughs> mean, whew. That was kind of an interesting one. Ugh. So I know, like, I feel like I've actually, like, I've slowed down a little bit. That definitely, like, ugh. Suicide is one of those things that just, ugh. It's, it's hard to talk about, especially when you're playing a video game. Like, gaming channels are usually about how, like, silly or stupid the stuff that's going on can be, but once you start getting into the, you know, really emotional territory, it, it always has a different dynamic. Not necessarily a bad dynamic or anything, but it gets you thinking, you know? I think that a lot of the indie games coming out right now are pretty good about tackling those sorts of issues in a ways that AAA stuff really can't. Anyway, back to the shimmy shammy and along the <laughs> along the side of a cliff. You know, the cheerful stuff. Two young boys in peril, possibly going to die from nature and monsters and whatnot. Alright, what do we got here? Let's look at this same picture that we've had. Ooh, castle. I mean, I, I didn't see any castles on that picture, but... Ooh! Is that a glider? Yes! Oh, I want to fly! Like an eagle into the sky. Anything over here? This looks like a place I could jump. Hmm, not yet. Maybe in a bit. Also, goats! Hello, goat! Are you goats going to attack me? Are you mean goats or are you nice goats? Okay, they seem like nice goats for now. Uh. What to do? What to do? Probably need to grab a. Oh! <laughs> oh man. I have a friend who would absolutely love this part. <laughs> Yeah! Goat riding! I'd ride a goat! Oh yeah! Knew it! Oh, it's mountain goat in time! <laughs> oh, that is clever! That is very cool, actually! Oh, look at that! Look how high up they got! Look at this! This is awesome! Oh, I wanted to keep going. Look at them, they're like little pig goats with their little scrunched up noses. Also, those goats were very okay with us just getting on and riding. I wonder if that's just a common way people get up here. I don't see any other way people would get up to this little place. Hey! Hey! Yo, what's up, bro? You got some, some gear problems? Oh, okay, fine. I'll help you. Just give me that. Uh, it's not too heavy. I mean, I was carrying an entire sheep earlier. I think I can handle a cog. Oh, you can just jump across like that. Uh... <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, no, pick it up. Let's go. Here we go. All right, balance your way. All right. Yep, good, good. All right, get ready, and... Cog toss! Nice! These brothers are freaking masters at this. You know, somebody's gonna tell me that that's a real language, and that I'm actually being incredibly offensive, and I'm gonna feel bad. I'm pretty sure it's just gibberish, though. Which shows just how cultured I am. Do I need any more cogs? I don't think so. Why are you running from me? Dude, we just helped you. We're cool. We're bros. 
just shimmy in, shimmy sham. It's a lot of shimmy shammy in this game. Hey, what's up? How's uh, how's it going? Hi. I'm Dick. This is Tracy. We want to fly. You want to fly, you say? Well, then, I think I'm just the thing for you. Do you? Here, kid, talk to him. Talk to him. <laughs> Those are some high stakes rock, paper, scissors. Man, he sucks. See? Hey, I got best two out of three. You let us fly on that glider now. That's how it works, okay? That's two out of three. That's how it goes. One, two, shoot. So can I just can I just take it? Can I just take it and go. Let's take a look in here real quick. What do we got? Hmm. It's a nice castle. Can we just move in here? I mean, grocery shopping will be a pain, but I mean, surely a castle like this comes with some sort of servanthood or a caravan that comes by once every couple weeks with produce. Huh. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the castle, brother. I'm sure that old man won't mind if we just take it. It's perfectly normal. Whoa, that is quite a steep... <laughs> it's quite a steep little thing there. Whoa. Oh, how do I control? How, how do I control it? Oh. Okay, okay. It's just one long thing. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm an avatar right now. The, the good parts of Avatar. The not in racist parts. Oh, this is cool. I mean, absolutely no safety whatsoever, but since one of these brothers cared at all about safety. Oh, this is awesome. So many different little mechanics in this game. And they last just long enough to be really cool and interesting, but they never overstay their welcome. Okay, can you... I'm sure... I'm sure there are monsters in here, so can you keep the shouts of glee down just, you know, to a minimum? Shit, shit, shut up! There's gonna be a giant ladybug that comes out and snatches you! <laughs> Bird jump scare. Oh, okay. Uh, uh... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's be careful here. Let's not crash into that. Or am I supposed to crash into that? Oh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I am supposed to. Damn it. Hopefully it doesn't make me go all the way back to the beginning. It made me go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. Fine. Go experience some joy again, I guess. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, we're going straight for it. Oh, 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 okay. Just crash into it. Just crash. Crash into it. Did that work? I didn't die, did I? Did I, di did I die? How did I die? What? Come on. <clears throat> Don't know what I did. Ugh. <laughs> I just wanted to try that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't think. It, I mean, I, I kind of thought he might let go, but <laughs> I just wanted to see it. Okay. Anyway, back to the attempting. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Not too bad. Ooh, ominous. A big dark castle with big dark windows. Okay, now this has been bugging me. How is the map even staying on there? Especially whenever he jumps in water. Because when he jumps in water, that thing should be runny. And that's runny, I mean, the paper itself would probably completely disintegrate. Is it magic paper? I have no idea. What are we doing? Seems like a bad idea to strap yourself to each other. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh? Oh. Let's go that way. No. 
Well, then let's go that way. No? Okay, fine. Let me up. I do not think that this little kid, though, could even feasibly hold his brother's weight. Oh! Okay, let's start with the older brother. And then the younger brother can come over here. And jump and grab. Okay. Now. Whee! Oh. And swing. Yeah. Move, squeak. Swing, swing, yeah. Swing on up. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one's which. Okay, cool. There we go. Moving all along. Wait for your brother. Come on. There we go. All right. That... Oh, <laughs> I let go in for a second. I thought I accidentally lost. Yeah. There we go. And... Oh. All right. Now jump on up. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Uh, okay. One brother at a time. <laughs> I thought I lost again. What is... What? Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, and then your turn. Wow, this is... This is something else. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There you go. Okay, I wasn't quite far enough. Okay, here we go. And, okay, vines aren't too bad. Man, that was, ugh, that, even that little kid, not even possible. He does not have the upper body strength. If he can't pull a lever, there is no way he can hold his brother. Oh, man. That was really cool, though. That was a really neat sequence. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Brothers. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, so next time, we're going to go and take a look at what's inside that castle, because it looks ominous. And I think that means good things are going to happen there. Happy things that make us happy. So, as always, you guys stay beautiful. And stay tuned, because more brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, will be coming back soon. I'll see you guys later.